This is the new cordless server upgrade kit for the Axadraw from Evil Mad Scientist. It's supposed to be stronger, fractionally faster, although I'm not really sure how that works, and quieter, which we're going to be testing in just a moment, and much longer lasting. So people complain about the price of ink in printers all the time. Like printers are cheap, but the ink is expensive and it's always running out. So annoying. Meanwhile, the drawing machine here, this is like a solid chunk of metal and it, it doesn't have any consumable parts apart from one thing, and that is the servo. And I tell people that when they buy a drawing machine to always grab like a, a few spare servos at the same time, because there's nothing more annoying than the very first time your servo dies and you don't have another one on hand, and then you have to wait a week or something for a new one to arrive. And your machine's just sitting there doing nothing. So these cost around $6 and they last about six months of daily use, near daily use. So let's open this box and have a look. This new servo costs around $60 for the servo and the case together. I think the servo itself is around $50 and then this fitting here is around $10. So for me to save money, I'd, it would have to last about 10 times longer than one of these servos, or approximately five years. Now, as you can see from the tape that I used to hold everything together here, hold the motor in place, I am very bad at DIY. So the idea of not having to change something, even a couple of times a year, is very appealing. And I guess the main thing is it's supposed to be a lot quieter, which we'll test in a second. The noise doesn't really bother me. In fact, I, I quite like it going on in the background, but I must confess there are times when I'm running the plotter a lot and I go, oh, I'll just shoot a quick video and then not want to because I'm worried that the noise is gonna be in the background and I'll mess it up. And then there's the flip of that, the other times when I'm making a planned video and they can take two or three days because I'm quite slow at this. That's time that I just can't run the pen plotter, or at least I think I can't run it, again, because of the noise. And because I'm both a drawing machine artist and somebody who makes all these videos, having a situation where I can only do one at a time kind of just ruins the whole point of having this creative space where I'm supposed to be able to do all the things at any time. We're all done. So let's go fit the new servo. So we're all done, and the first question is, is it actually quicker, which is the one I was curious about, and it is like fractionally faster. I think it will depend a lot on the plot that you're doing. If you're doing lots of long straight lines, then you're not really saving time on the pen up and down. If you're doing a large plot with a lot of up and down, then maybe shave some minutes off the end, don't know. The curious one though is the sound. Let's have a look at the actual audio recording I made. So here we have two channels. We've got the original servo up in the top channel and we've got the new servo down in the bottom channel. I think you can already see the difference. And if I play it, um, we can see down here that the top one, the old servo is peaking around 12 decibels. I don't really know audio that well. 12 decibels above the other one. So it's definitely quieter. So let's now look at the videos side by side. This is me recording a video with the old servo in the background. So if I pause, you may or may not be able to hear it. Who knows, I'm running off this lapel mic just here. So this is me recording a video with the quiet pen plot in the background. It's definitely quieter.
Okay, so I've just finished editing the video and obviously I've been sitting here in the room with the Servo and it's obviously much quieter. It's certainly not assignment, but I think I'd feel more confident about making videos with it running the background and it not being such a distracting sound. So from my point of view, that's a win because now I can do all that stuff at the same time. What about the rest of it? Well, let's get on to the verdict time. Should you buy an upgrade? Mm, don't know, it feels like a luxury treat rather than a necessity. If you want to buy yourself like a gift because you deserve it for being such a good pen plotter and also make your background noise uh, a lot quieter, I mean, it's surprising how much quieter it is to introduce that extra calm into your life, then sure, go for it. Is it a must have? I don't know, you can buy an awful lot of SG90 servos for the same price, but Mine lasts me about six months. I've had had other people say they last about a week or some of them last a few days. So there's kind of that inconsistency between those servers. So I think having one that gives you the confidence that it's just going to keep going is good. Obviously, I haven't had a chance to test that because I've only had it a day. But if you subscribe, then in about six months or a year or two years, we can find out if it's still going because I'm going to start recording all the pen lifts that it makes. If that's your type of thing, yeah, join in. And that means it's the end of the video. So like, subscribe, follow, comment below if you're gonna buy one of these servos or not, all of that good stuff. And remember, always be plotting. I'm not, I'm not really into that catchphrase. I don't, don't, think, don't think that's gonna be my catchphrase. Okay, bye.